Hello, welcome to Schools Not Out, your daily classroom for CSEC and CAPE students. Today's lesson is on principles of business, CSEC. I am Kayan Johnson. For our focus today, we are looking at the role that the government plays within our economy. Now, when we focus on the roles of the government, we have to look closely at uh, the definition of government. What is government? Now, we have two dictionary definitions that we can rely on and then we can summarize them into our own words. Now, the government we say is a group of people that has the authority to govern or manage a country or a state. We also may define the government as the organization through which a political unit exercises their authority or they perform um, leadership functions and role to govern the society. Or simply put, just a little summary, we say we often hear that the government is the representation of the people. Sometimes you will hear during um, political debates or just about election time, and this is what I always remember in order for me to, to bring to the forefront of my, my, my memory these key roles that the government play. Now, can you think of uh, any political or, or election promises that, ha that were made by political parties? Now, for these political um, promises, we may have... The promise for better roads, you might say, we may have a promise to ensure that our school system is on par. We may also have the promise to have a better healthcare system. The focus also of some political uh, debates or some political promises may be the focus of provision of jobs, 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 and more jobs. We may also have some promises for regarding um, taxation, security, where crime and violence is concerned, and other promises that relate to businesses. Now, these promises are really geared towards allowing the sectors within the economy to perform at their optimum. We always hear of Vision 2030, and despite whatever um, political promises that, ha that were made or that have been made, we actually can rely on these same promises to remember what are these uh, roles or goals of the government because these are not just uh, um, promises that are made by any government uh, but these are actual roles that they provide so you will hear um, different uh, political parties or different government whichever government is in power at the time they may promise uh, um, these uh, to, to achieve these goals and these are the things that we refer to as the roles of the government so let us look at some of these roles that the government provide or carry out. We have, they provide the security, security of the state. We all want to know that we are safe in our homes. For businesses, the, the entrepreneurs want to know that they are safe from extortion. They want to know that it is safe to operate business in Jamaica. We also have the provision of job security. And this is one issue that is, it's a topical issue now. Due to COVID-19, we have some persons losing jobs. A lot of persons are losing jobs. So you will see the government putting plans in place to really ensure that there's a cushioning of the job market. Then we have the provision of social welfare. And this is not restricted to just uh, social programs like PATH, but we'll delve into it a little bit as uh, we move along in the lesson. 
We also have the government performing the role of regulating businesses, maintaining a safe environment for investors, and ensuring the protection of the environment. So we're going to take a closer look at each of these uh, roles and see how does the government ensure that these roles are, are performed. The first one that we're going to start off with is the security of the state. Now, with the most recent implementation of the government, we have, this is a topical issue where security of the state is concerned. And currently, the current government has imposed some strategies to manage or to maintain uh, a security or to, to ensure that we feel safe in our homes and to eradicate um, crime. So, it is the responsibility of the government to manage the, secur the security sector which involves uh, the Jamaica Defence Force, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and we say that security is provided to us as a public good. We also have the, the government performs the role of securing the state as they bear the political responsibility for activities of the security sector. So you will realise that if there is any matter regarding uh, um, the actions of police or the actions of uh, soldiers um, or any matter regarding security, you will realize that sometimes the persons may say, well, maybe we should, what is the crime plan? What should we really um, do to resolve these matters? And they look to the government as to how are they going to really exercise that role or carry out their duties um, to bear political responsibility for um, whatever crime atmosphere that exists in the moment. Now, even though we have the government performing these roles, we may say, well, why do we have the crime rate um, escalating? Uh, even though the government really have these plans in place, there are certain things that are beyond their control, but they have to um, bear political responsibility and put plans in place to ensure that we have um, a lesser crime rate or a reduction in, in crime or um, ensuring that we feel more secure and safe. Okay, we also have the government exercising its duty in securing the state by ensuring that there is a detailed um, or transparent plan that align with legislation. So whatever security measures are put in place, they must be transparent. The government ensures transparency and ensures that there is a detailed plan in place and they must go, they must be in agreement with whatever legislation that's, that are on the books. Okay, I have a trivia for you. Do you know of any measure that has been implemented by the Jamaican government, whether past or present, to ensure the safety and security of our citizens? Think about this question. And I know some of you have the answers at the tip of your tongues, but we'll revisit this, this question um, at the end of our session today. So let us look at uh, another role that the, the government uh, performs job security now job security is key in a time like this this is something that is worth discussing because as the definition of job security um states we workers within the within the economy must feel safe and must be able to exercise their duties on the job without fear of losing their job so you may realize that uh, working especially within the public sector um, and uh, performing your job, performing your duties and to uh, a, a very good standard may allow you to have a, a job secured um, for a, a period of time, a, a longer period of time than you would if it is that you were employed under contract on in the, the private sector. But job security also focuses on 
the severance packages for employees. So the government, you will realize that, especially if you work within the public sector, you'll realize that the government provides severance packages um, to employees. Um, maybe we have the closure of a government department or agency, um, especially when we have workers who have given a l length of service and very good service, we may have uh, upon dismissal or end of service, we may have a severance package for employees. Now, the government also ensures job security by encouraging that economic climate that allows or fosters job creation within the private sector, um, which is really good because it helps to lessen unemployment and uh, ensure that we have economic growth. So job security is very essential to any government and it is one of these roles um, or one of the roles that the government provides. Okay, here I have another trivia for you. Let's see if you can guess this one. Can you name any employment program implemented by other political parties that facilitated job creation? I can think of a few. And I know you may know one or two, but we'll revisit this question um, at the end of our session. Okay, now social welfare. Social welfare is another role that the government exercise or exercises. So we have social welfare is very big and it covers a wide area as it relates to how the economy as a whole benefits from uh, the policies that the government puts in place. So social welfare really looks at uh, what are the policies that are put in place that benefits the common people without maximizing of any profit, without looking for any profit motive. So you realize that the government within social welfare, they provide what we refer to as uh, public goods and, and merit goods. So for example, looking at the provision of merit goods, these are goods that we really are not able to pay the true cost of, but, and we say that the cost, the, the cost of the, of the good really, um, or the benefit that we get from the good far outweighs the cost of the good. So we have the provision of public goods and merit goods that enhances the role that the government plays in providing social welfare. So we have, for example, the provision of free health care and education. Um, we have the outreach programs that have been embarked on by governments. We have the provision of these services that falls under the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Now, these are some of the programs that you know. And if you realize that we have the PATH program listed there, that's a welfare program that assists, uh, that's a welfare program that assists uh, um, those who are in need, <laughs> assisting uh, students with uh, feeding program, school feeding program at school, and helping families to really, those families to who are functioning um, below the poverty line, uh, or who are in need of assistance to really be able to provide for their families in a better way. So here we have social welfare at play, even with the PATH program. We also have programs like the that are really enforced through the Social Development Commission. We have other programs or establishment or agencies like the National Insurance Scheme. So we know that even with the National Insurance Scheme, we are able to um, manage or secure a pension so that we are, we are able to, at retirement, live a little better um, quality of life than we would if we did not have a pension or join a pension scheme. So the National Insurance Scheme is another agency um, that is established to really enable us to enjoy better social welfare. We have the Industrial Disputes tri Tribunal. We have Golden Age Homes. The government also has in place the, a disaster relief management system. And 
this disaster relief management system is especially um, important now. So we have right now COVID-19 um, being a pandemic. And uh, with this pandemi pandemic really affecting our, the entire world and uh, Jamaica, we find that the government in carrying out it, its duty in providing social welfare may allocate funds. As you would have heard, there's an allocation of some funding to really cushion the effect of uh, the, the COVID-19 um, pandemic. We also have uh, Abilities Foundation, the Abilities Foundation of the Jamaica. And these are just a few departments that, or a few agencies that have been established to ensure the government exercise its role in providing us with a social welfare benefit. Okay, here we have another role provided um, or, or really that the government carries out. We have the regulation of businesses. Now, Jamaica, currently, we really, as well, the government really encourages investors um, and they provide guidance to entrepreneurs on how to set up businesses. We have the government um, carrying out its duty or role in regulating businesses by providing regulatory bodies that monitor business practices, for example, the OUR. We also have the provision of quality assessment of products, and we know that that can be done through, like health inspectors, ensuring that businesses are meeting the health requirements of operation. We have the Bureau of Standards of Jamaica, as well as one government body that acts um, on behalf of the government um, exercising its role in regulating businesses. The government also provide regulation or restrictions to protect the rights of uh, employees. So we do have, uh, the government also implement policies to encourage the startup of businesses. And you may hear of various governments who have provided the information provided information on how um, we can really get started and how we can secure financing if it is that we are interested in starting up businesses because the entire economy benefits whenever we have um, businesses or entrepreneurs really coming out being bold and starting businesses so this is one thing that the government really enforces regulating businesses and assisting even startups in getting started entrepreneurs in getting started now right now there i know that there is information in about the tax break or there is a there's an adjustment of the taxes um as it relates to small business right now that's been proposed and with that, it also benefits micro or medium-sized businesses based on the amount of revenue that they take in. So right there, we see the government also planning to exercise its role or continue to carry out its role by ensuring that the smaller businesses can really survive and grow within the economy because we know that that can provide additional jobs and assist in economic growth okay one last trivia um before we we take a break so here's your challenge you bought a product because there's actually one organization that we have not listed yet or one um agency that the government exercises its role to uh, our, com our commitment to ensuring businesses are regulated. So here's a challenge. You bought a product from a company and you've tested it and realized that it's not working, right? And I know that some of, sometimes we have that problem. Maybe you bought a, an iron and you took it home, plugged it in and it isn't working. So you've brought back the receipt as well as the product uh, um, to the store and you've lodged your complaint but the store owner refused to agree upon a reasonable solution. So here's the challenge. 
Do you know of the government organization that you can contact to lodge your complaint and have the matter resolved? Think about this question. It will be available at, uh, the answers will be available at the end of uh, um, the lesson. Now, this list that we have today, it's not extensive, it's not complete, but these are the roles that we must focus on according to the, the syllabus. So, let's look at the additional roles that the government provide. So, we have the protection of the environment. And uh, this is key uh, because we only have one earth and uh, we have to protect it. So each government in whatever country, in whatever part of the world, they have to pass laws to protect human health and the environment. And they create reg regulations to enforce those laws. So for example, in Jamaica, we have a um, restriction on when hunting can take place, when can we um, hunt for certain types of birds, we also have uh, um, certain sanctuaries that are um, within our waters that we are not allowed to fish um, or, or to really um, venture into those areas. We also have designated areas upon government instru in instructions um, to protect uh, endangered species. So they may declare certain places as national parks, which are to be undisturbed. We also have the, an encouragement of the citizens to play our part. For example, we have the Nodotti of Jamaica. You, have, you remember that song, Nodotti of Jamaica? Please don't do it. So that very catchy um, advertisement is actually from the, a government initiative um, that really encourages the env environmental um, preservation. We also have uh, the plastic and the styrofoam ban, right? So we have uh, these laws that have been put in place lately that should encourage us to have better practices um, to really save the environment. So these are things that the government really put in place so that we exercise our responsibility um, or be responsible in how we really take care of our environment. Okay, in protecting the environment, the government also hold businesses accountable for the negative externalities that spill off from the um, production or consumption of goods that they provide. The government also provide a protection of the um, environment through the influence of businesses um, to provide green technology. We have the renewable energy promulgation policy that has been put in place. We have the encouragement of reforestation and the development of proper disposal sites. Um, so companies are encouraged to ensure that um, these are to encourage to really take on the development of proper disposal sites, especially if it is that um, they have um, waste emitting from their production process. How do they manage it to ensure that they, they the environment isn't um, at risk. So, what, this is our last trivia. So do you know the government agency that was established with the vision of promoting the use of our natural resources in a sustainable way? All right, now you may hear um, this organization, the name of this organization coming up, especially when we have like, um, animals that are being that are not being protected animals that are being harmed like um, the crocodile or alligator um, that people really kill to to have them for food or how do they treat these species that are really endangered um, species okay the government also has a responsibility to provide a safe environment for investors so investors want to know that uh, um, we have uh, crime managed, a good crime plan, crime rate um, at a low. We, and investors also want to know um, if it is that there is a viable financial or banking system in order to invest. And the government may also provide a tax break, like the um, tax incentive that has been, um, the latest tax in incentive that has been provided, all right, um, for small businesses. Okay. Now, here's a little fun tip that you can take away from um, this role that the government provides. So, 
Did you know that the stock exchange has been ranked the world's best performing stock market? So um, we have good things happening in the area of investment in Jamaica. And uh, we can say that the government has uh, put in place policies that um, ensures that the functions of businesses uh, performed are done so um, smoothly. And investors are safe. Investors can actually count on their returns. Okay, now we have our trivia answers. So let us see if all those guesses were correct. Here are your answers. So for the first question we asked, do you know any measure that has been implemented by the Jamaican government with the past or present to ensure the safety and, and the security of our citizens? Hmm, let's see what the answers are. So we have the most recent um, states of emergencies and we have the zones of special operation. Now, all of us um, have some knowledge of this. All right, because we've passed through those um, checkpoints. The next question, the next question we have, we ask if you could name any employment program implemented by other political parties that facilitated job creation. Let's see what the answer is. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, if you guessed, if you guessed Jeep or Hope, you are correct. Awesome. So. Let's move on to our other um, two questions. So, for our challenge, we asked, if it is that you had some issue working out uh, a business um, transaction with uh, a particular um, company, what organization would you really contact to lodge your complaint and have the matter resolved? Let's see. If you guess the Consumer Affairs Commission, you are correct. So if you got the three answers right, good job, good going. All right, and the final question asked, if you knew the government agency that was established with the vision of promoting the use of our natural resources in a sustainable way. Aha, uh -huh. if you guessed the Nepal, the National Environment and Planning Agency, you got that correct. So awesome job if you got all questions right, good job. So let's recap. Today, we looked at the responsibilities or the roles that the government provide. We looked at the provision of job security, as well as um, the security of, that is enforced to ensure that we feel safe. We have the government exercising the role of providing social welfare. The government also provides the role of uh, or carry, carries out the role of protection of the environment. We also looked at uh, the role that the government provided or provides in regulating businesses and fostering investments. Now, these are some of the key roles and as we mentioned before, these are not, this is not a complete list, but these are the, the, the items that we focus on. And even some of the items that were not listed as the roles provided by the government are sometimes intertwined within these roles that we looked at today.